So it is 10 to 6 and we are ready to go off to Sweden, heading to the airport. thick snow outside, there's about half a foot, maybe a foot of snow outside. We've actually stayed here before five years ago. Um, we thought we'd come here again. We've been travelling for about 12 hours, absolutely starving hungry, need to make some dinner. We just popped into the local Ica, picked up some food, um, and then we're going to go explore once more, maybe do some ice skating. But yeah, we'll give you a bit of a tour in the daylight because it's dark out. It's dark at about three o'clock here. Happy. Hello everyone. So we're heading out ice skating, but whilst Lon's getting ready I thought I'd do a bit of a quick shower around with the outside. So this is our cabin, it's in a place called Gasunda, which is just outside Mora, next to a big lake called Lake Sljan, um, in Balana County, in uh, the middle of Sweden. As I say, we've stayed here before. We stayed here about five or six years ago, when we first came to Sweden and fell in love. So this is why we've come back here. We love this area of Sweden, it's so picturesque and beautiful as well. So this is our cabin. It's only small, it's got um, one bedroom, kitchen, bathroom and uh, like a front room. But it's perfect for us. Oh, there's Lauren at the window. <laughs> You've got these cabins here as well which are rather fantastic. And they've got a little bedroom upstairs and a little living room downstairs. Um, they're fully heated and they've got the most amazing key to get in, I'll show you the key a bit later. There's one there, and there's one just over there. Again, absolutely beautiful. This is a higher car, Kia Exceed. It's actually pretty good, you know. Um, it's a hybrid, but it's very complicated. It was steering for me in all sorts yesterday. We're gonna go to do some ice skating. I don't know if you can see it over there. A bit of flat white area over there, that's the lake. It's one of the biggest lakes in Sweden, it's massive. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go get ice skating. So rather annoyingly, because of COVID, they are no longer hiring out ice skates. So that's our ice skating out the window, which is annoying because it's one of the things I was looking forward to most. So yeah. We're just going in the charity shop to see if they've got some ice skates in the charity shop, but it's annoying because I left mine at home so I could rent them, but they're not renting them here. So we've got no ice skates. Never mind, what can you do? So we're gonna have a wander around, maybe go for a bit of a walk, head to the Dala Horse factory. little bakery and Lauren's come out with a little box of treats oh my god look at them Ooh, lovely cup of tea it's freezing out there we've got all my layers on all wrapped up and we've just managed to find somewhere that we can hire skates so we're gonna go ice skating tomorrow which I can't wait I'm so excited So we're at the Neil Dolson Dalen Horse Factory. It's snowing. Over there is the, uh, the most beautiful phone box in the world. Let's go and have a look. Dream Dial of Horse collection. Look at how beautiful they are. Antique ones. Amazing. And look at these. I don't know if you can see them on the camera. But that is a tiny, tiny 
start the horse. As is that one there. Amazing. Look at that for a paint drip floor. It's the paint room. This thing needs a bit of a clean. It's snowing outside. Boxes and boxes and boxes of Dala horses. All of these huge Dala horses, they're massive. Should Lauren wants on a dollar horse. I'm just going to play in the snow. Just in a Swedish supermarket, buying some groceries. I want you to appreciate the size of the battery section. This is just a normal supermarket, not a hardware shop. But I'll tell you what they what they've got you covered for: batteries, all the batteries you ever need. So I bought some nuggets of fish. Bought some fish nuggets. Let's see if they're nice or not. They, they do look really nice. And I, I like a bit of fish, but I don't eat it very often. So I thought I'd try, I'd try some of these. But if they're disgusting, you get to see my reaction opening some fish nuggets. Oh, that is seriously smoky. Do you think I can, <laughs> I think I can eat them raw? <laughs> you must be able to. You must be able to, mustn't you? We'll find out. Oh, that is nice. Oh. Oh. Very good. Yeah. So, I'm in a hardware shop. Just because I like coming to Swedish hardware shops. Because you can buy anything from fire extinguishers to bird feeders to trailer wheels, coat hangers, tea towels. There's a plumbing section, there's a kids' toy section, compressors. You can just buy everything in one shop. Kindling for your fire, files, tools, everything. Part of the reason I want to live in Sweden is just so I can get a massive snow globe. Look at this thing. So we've been to the um, most fantastic man. He does specialises in like outdoor adventures. He's got a, like a garage full of speed boats, canoes, kayaks, everything you could possibly imagine. And we've rented some skates for him, so tomorrow, ice skating race. Where are we going now, Lauren? Now we are going for some dinner. We found a place called Bear Pub, which sounds like the most us place ever. So, we're gonna go and get a beer and some dinner. <laughs> So we had a lovely steak and chips at the Bear Pub in Mora, in the middle of Mora, which was actually really nice. Um, picked up our skates as well, so skating tomorrow morning. Um, bought plenty of beers, so we're going to sample some Swedish beers. You know, we only bought sweet. We only bought Swedish beer. Lauren bought some stout. Hi all. So we're putting our skates on. I want to do some ice skating. Got mine on, ready to go. And we're going to be going on this lake. How's the boots, Robin? Really comfy, actually.
It's very knackering. The course is two and a half kilometers long. And we've just gone around it a couple of times. No races though. We've got um, touring ski, touring skis, touring, uh, touring ice skates. Look how long the blades are. So they're not the best for uh, racing. So we didn't want to do ourselves an injury, so we haven't raced. But uh, we've had fun nonetheless. Fell over, Lauren fell over. But the boots are so fancy and comfortable. But now I think it's Fika time. at the bottom of the lake. It's called uh, Lexan. Looks really nice actually, so we're gonna have a bit of a wander around. I think there's a couple of second-hand shops we're gonna try and investigate. It's slightly warmer now, it's about three degrees out. Aching a bit from all that ice skating this morning. Lexan looks like a lovely place. So we've had a lovely time in Lexan. Just got a hot dog. Went to an amazing charity shop where we bought some bits and bobs. Got the biggest bargain of the century. Beautiful oil painting. 75 chrome. Google it, 75 chrome. The only thing is, not sure how we're going to get it back on the old aeroplane, but I've got a massive suitcase, hopefully it'll fit. to the top of this mountain we're gonna go for lunch up here hoping there's gonna be some amazing views look at this behind me I hope you can see it it's beautiful Was that Lauren? Really good. I think I've got a waffle round my face. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good, delicious, very nice. What did you have? We had some goulash, local goulash, and I had for afters we had some Nordic Swedish pancakes with cloudberries, which was really nice too. 